Konnichiwa, minasan. My name is Siti Narsha Binti Hansman. I am from Pahang, the biggest state in Venezuela, Malaysia. So, I entered an Islamic secondary school. My school name is Sekolah Menanga Agama Tengku Ampuan Fatimah. It is an all-girls school. So, yeah. Well, different from Japan, Malaysia do not split middle school and high school. So, I went to the same secondary school from Form 1 and, and graduated 5 years later. Konnichiwa, minasan. Watashi wa Husna desu. Pahang kara kimashita. Yoroshiku onegaishimasu. So, I study at an Islamic secondary school located in Pahang, in the same state as Sister Aisha. But we attended different schools since we live in different districts. My school name is Sekolah Menengah Agama Al Khairiyah. I started to enter secondary school when I was 13 years old and finished when I was 17 years old. Konnichiwa minasan. Watashi no namae wa Farig des. Hello everyone. My name is Mama Farig. You all can call me Farig only. For your information, I also live at the same state as Aisha and Husna in Pahang, but in a different district. My school name is Cheno Islamic High School. I enter high school at 13 years old and study for 5 years until 17 years old. For your information, I stay at the hostel during my high school because my house and my school so far away. That's all for my information. Yoroshiku Hello, konnichiwa minasan. My name is Muhammad Khatami bin Azizan. You guys can call me Ami. I am from Kota Baru, Kelantan. I studied at Sekolah Menengah Agama Ma'arif, uh, which is an Islamic high school. My school is located at Besar Terengganu. It is a known fact for Malaysian uh, that Kelantan and Terengganu uh, neighboring states in Malaysia. The distance uh, between my home and school is almost 63 km. But I decided to stay in the school hostel to continue my studies at high school. Hello, Konnichiwa. My name is Ahmad Nidal Halimi bin Nasir. I am also from Kelantan, the same state as Khatami, but I live in Bachu. I went to College Science Nurul Aman and Islamic High School in Kota Baru, Kelantan. It is an all-boys school. The school location is pretty far away from my hometown. Despite the distance, it is not a problem for me because my school has provided dormitories for all students. I was appointed by my school as school prefect. So I wore different school uniform from other students. For school prefect, we are required to wear a speech uniform with brown skirt. Meanwhile, for school librarians, purple uniform from head to toes, and regular student white uniform with a green skirt. But there is an exceptional day. Um, which is Thursday, where all students are required to wear batu bate. Batu bate is a traditional pattern of Malay garment. So here I attach a few pictures of my school days for you guys. When I was in secondary school, I was a school librarian and wore a peach colored school uniform. For regular students, they will wear a white uniform while the school prefect will wear a blue uniform. What is special about Islamic secondary school in Pahang? So, every Tuesday, we will wear baju batik. For your information, every school has different batik shirt pattern. You guys must be curious about my school's baju batik, right? Well, it will be shown in the next picture. Alright, for the first question is my school uniform. Uh, when I first entered my high school, 
I have to wear white clothes and the green trousers to go to the school. For your information, our school uniform can be bought at the market or at the mall. And then, when I 14 years old, the teacher appointed me as a school librarian and I have to change my school uniform from white to purple as you can see in the picture. In my high school, we have different types of uniform and clothes that should be worn according of the day such as Monday and Tuesday, I have to wear purple clothes. For Wednesday, I wear sport clothes. And as this picture, and Thursday, I have to wear batik clothes and for Friday, I have to wear traditional clothes known as baju melayu as you can see. And with all this uniform and clothes, I have to wear songkok at the top of my hair. In my school, regular students are required to wear white clothes, white pants, and black shoes. I wore these clothes during the four years since I studied there. However, I managed to hold a position when I was 17 years old. Due to that, I had to wear yellow clothes uh, with black pants as I became a prefect of dakwah. The position's responsibilities include consulting other students on dakwah. Aside from the color of clothes, there were also other options which are blue and green. The blue clothes represent the school prefect in charge of the school discipline section while the green clothes uh, represent the school librarian. When I was in high school, the theme of my school uniform was white uniform. All regular students were required to wear white uniform as well as white cap. Meanwhile, for dormitory students, as my school is a boarding school, they were required to wear white uniform too, but a blue cap. As for librarians, they were required to wear a purple uniform with white cap. When I was in Form 2, which is 14 years old, I became a prefect of Da'wah. I had to wear white uniform and a green cap. And then my school pointed me as a school prefect. Oh, while I was uh, in Form 5, which is 17 years old, therefore, as school prefects, it is required to wear a green uniform with a red cap. However, there is one exception, which is that on Thursdays, all students are required to wear batik shirts. Our school required us to wear a maroon batik shirt on that day. Uh, well, the most memorable school rules that I still remember until now is we are prohibited from wearing makeup. If you are caught wearing makeup, your makeup tools will be confiscated by school prefect, which is me. Secondly, I learned that Korean high schoolers can wear makeup to school, but it is a big no for most high school in Malaysia except for private school. And I also learned that Japanese uh, high schoolers have the same rules with us. They cannot wear makeup and persons. Uh, the second rules that I still remember is we are compulsory to bring our Quran to school. Our own Quran to school because uh, every morning before assembly we will have a Quran recitation. For those who do not bring their own Quran, the teacher will punish them by instruct them to stand beside the beside the assembly hall. Well, for me, the punishment is not quite hard because we all girls and we only have five male students, uh, five male teachers, so it is not that embarrassing to stand beside the hall. 
What can I remember when I was in secondary school? There are rules set by my school in which female students cannot wear socks below the ankle level and students are required to bring a rule book every time an assembly is held. As a result, the student who broke the rules will be fined and his name will be recorded on a list of students who made disciplinary errors. My discipline teacher once reminded the students if similar offenses occur, the student will be punished, either camp or suspended from school or ordered to clean the school area. Alright, next I would like to talk about my school rules. During my high school days, I was banned from keeping long hair and had to keep my hair short or bald. This is because according to the teacher, if we have long hair, it will disturb our learning process. And if we break the rules, the teacher will cut our hair with scissors and of course our teacher is not a professional barber. So the haircut often turned bad. Other than that, my high school also prohibited the student from bringing gadget such as smartphone, laptop, PC or even the small mp3 player for listening to music. If we bring this to school, we could be expelled from school. I have experienced my school punishment once. In my school, students uh, are not allowed to have long hair beyond our eyebrows. The teacher will punish us by shaving our long hair in front of all the other students uh, during assembly. Furthermore, my Islamic school environment was totally opposite to other regular schools where we were required to remain in gender group. By means of that, my school has provided gender specific routes. We are not allowed to take the wrong route. If you do, the appropriate punishment will be taken. However, in a classroom, all male students must be in front while the girls have to stay behind. This demonstrates to not stimulating feelings of love while learning. One of my most famous school rules is that students cannot have long hair. It couldn't be longer than 2 inches. If we're caught for having long hair, we will be punished and the punishment will be conducted by the teacher. My teacher will cut our hair with scissors and the cutting is so bad. Or maybe the teacher will shave our hair bald. But all of these punishments are up to the discipline teacher to decide. I have also experienced being punished in such a way. Meanwhile, students who skip out of school illegally, illegally will be came or bar or penalized both at the same time. If they are caught by the discipline teacher. Apart from that, my high school forbids students from carrying electronic devices such as smartphones, laptops, computers, or even a small mp3 player to listen to music. If we bring this to school, our belongings will be confiscated and will not be written forever. Or our belongings will be thrown straight away to the wall until broken by the disciplinary teachers as punishment.